remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. The River State Governor Sassimilai Fubara's recent decision to investigate the previous administration led by his estranged benefactor and current minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesam Wiki, has stirred a wave of reactions and debates across the state. The move reflects the deepening of the rift between the once aligned leaders and a shift in the state's political landscape. As the state awaits the outcome of this high stakes investigation, Political observers and stakeholders voice concerns over the impact of this past struggle on governance, accountability, and the well-being of the populace. The that have been commissioned, they are coming for their balance payment, and it's running in millions and billions. I don't want to talk because I am part of that system. But when you keep pushing me to talk, I will say it so that they will see the gnash of the fowl. In the local palace, they said the jungle has matured. We will be setting a panel of inquiry to investigate the affair of governance. That is the governor of River State, Sir Simnalai Fubara, on two separate occasions, committing to investigate the immediate past government of his estranged benefactor and current minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nyesom Wike. While the instance of incubants investigating their predecessors in the Nigerian political space may not be new, it is however a rarity for this to happen when both the incubant and the predecessors are from the same political bloc. In River State, more so is the fact that former Governor Wiki had gone the extra mile to enthrone Fubara, whom he considered a confidant as his successor, against the wishes of many political leaders in the state at the time. Just about a year down the line, the master and his protege have been at daggers drawn for months and the river's people and perhaps the entire nation will be sitting at the edge of their seats waiting for the outcome of what many describe as a big cat chase. Interestingly, Governor Fubara was part of Wiki's government where he served as Accountant General from 2020 to the election year in 2023. The Governor, in a recent comment, has gone on to say that while serving in that capacity, he purely acted on approval and that his records are clean. Elder Statesman High Chief Anab Saragbe and Honorable Daniel Wilcox Burui react to this latest twist in the ongoing political quagmire in the treasure base of the nation. For the eight years, go to the internet whether you see any budget by years on wiki and check other states whether there are no budget for them. You did budget, we don't know how the budget is. You are awarding contracts, we don't even know the basis. The procurement laws we are flouted, same as never taking a war front to wiki. It is Wiki that is now accessing Kama to take place. It is Wiki that is inviting is the probe, which he did to Amechi. Amechi did to Odile. The issue of him being involved or not involved is a civil servant. He has certain powers to stop it by law. He cannot thwart the decision of the governor. And the governor is answerable to every decision because these are paperwork. His duty is to do the paperwork. I say, His Excellency, don't you think this one is not right? But if His Excellency said I approved, he bear the consequence. Because asset and liability goes together. And probing is not a new thing. It's constitutional. Another bone of contention in the state is the controversial tenure extension by six months of the elected council officials in the state by the embattled Martins and Mahuele led state legislature. They had vetoed Governor Fubara and amended the local government administration law to allow the council officials to stay in office beyond the expiration of their tenure in June this year. A Potakot based legal practitioner and public affairs commentator, Barista Festos Oguchi, speaks on the constitutionality of this scenario and other issues around the political situation in the state. The dimension that this crisis in River State could take to take this country, nobody knows yet. Let us even assume that the members of this uh, House of Assembly are valid members of the House of Assembly. Can the House of Assembly make law to extend tenure of members of, of a legislative house or, or council as known under the Constitution? They cannot. They cannot usurp the functions of the people. It lies in the people. If they want a tenure extension, that means a new round of election has to be conducted. Specifically, if the 
if the tenure upon which they got into that place has expired. Conflicts between sitting governors and their predecessors have become a tradition that appears to have taken on a worrying dimension, posing a threat to Nigeria's emerging democracy. Just as in the proverbial suffering of the grass when two elephants fight, so have the masses suffered as a result of this needless political struggle. Governor Fubara cautiously affirmed recently that he was only able to take full control of the state's affairs in February this year, about eight months after he officially assumed the saddle. While Nigerians keenly watch in which direction the pendulum will swing in the reverse case, political observers are calling on political actors in other states across the country such as Cross Rivers, Eboyin, Binwi, Kaduna and Kano, among others, going through similar power struggles to sheath their swords and prioritize the welfare of the masses over personal and political interests for a peaceful and prosperous nation. Inside the Niger Delta, 